Oh, my homies, join me for a minute. We are exhausted. <laughs> um, what can I say? Nothing feels weirder. It's not that it feels bad. It's not that it's messing me up. But it just feels strange to lift in a gym that I'm not used to, you know? Anybody who does Olympic style lifting or powerlifting for that matter, like anybody can feel this kind of way. Um, when you switch even just like going from one bar to a different bar, even if it's the same weight, same girth, you know, same spinning this, whatever, if it's like a different brand, just even to that level, it feels weird. <laughs> it does not like it, it, you get so used to grabbing the same thing every single day and whipping the bar with the same equipment every single day even the weights you know having smaller bumpers than what i'm used to feels odd you know and sure most of it's mental um i'm sure that there's some bit of like you know a smaller plate means it's denser you know having wider plates allows for a bit more of a bounce when i catch it sure but all in all, you kind of just have to get get over your shit and grip and rip, you know? I say that shit all the time. You just have to whip that shit with some maximum grip and rip mentality, you know? Not in the sense of, like, fuck my body, anything can happen. I don't care if I get injured. You know, you got to keep your body as a priority. But, you know, I was suffering a little bit. It was very, that was the heaviest 230s felt in a while. Um, on clean and jerk and on bench too like it's not that I felt shitty or that I felt like I was gonna get injured in any way and I've gone through enough of that shit lately so I was just not wanting that to happen no I don't I, you guys know I do not need another fucking injury right now but regardless I use I'm using different equipment the bench was not good I will say that the bench was shit. It was one of those super fluffy, bouncy benches that make you feel all comfortable. I can't be comfortable when I'm lifting. Dude, it makes me relax. I couldn't like lock in my back and my leg drive as much as I wanted to, as weird as that sounds. I just, I felt too comfortable on that bench to give it my whole wah, you know, that full pumpage. Um, but all in all, I put in the work, you know, I got, I, I at least had the chance to lift the gym I was going to here in uh, PCB while I'm out of town was closed on a Sunday because why not? Let's let people skip the gym on a Sunday. Like, I don't fucking get that. But this was the only gym open in the entire town. So I was just like, you know what? At least they have a platform. At least they have a bench. At least I can lift. There's always so many more goods that I can pull out of this shit than the negatives. Because sure, I felt better. It's been whippier. I felt more in tune with my body. But God damn it. I got to do my lifts. That's what's important. You know, I got to stay consistent, get that discipline going, and I'm going to be so motherfucking passionate when I get back to the normal gym in Alabama. Because, man, do I need that shit right now. <laughs> it's been a little too long since I've been on those nice, nice platforms. And I... I need that shit back in my life right now. Uh, but anyway, physically, uh, I mean, again, it wasn't really that bad. I just don't think I was mentally that locked in. So, like, I can give it a good 7.6, you know, not too shabby, just a little bit on the underside. You know, it could have been a lot better, but that's why we have shittier days. You know, this day is going to allow me to whip up a nine point something sometime sooner than later i get to do heavy snatches in my next lift day after tomorrow so that'll be fun you know you never know what's gonna happen so i just gotta keep enjoying what i'm doing and fucking lift that shit but anyway sorry i know i'm rambling on a lot i just brain's not really in it you know sometimes you just gotta have those days where you just sit there and it's like i kind of just want to chillax which that won't be today i'm gonna be moving all goddamn day I procrastinated on school and I'm going out. So we're going to figure it out. But either way, mentally, uh, this is for outside reasons other than the gym. It's kind of what I want to talk about. I'll, I'll give it like a 7.15, honestly. And I know what you're thinking. You're just like, Jake, the lifts didn't look that bad. Why are you feeling so down in the 
dumps compared to your physical. And yeah, physically and the lifts, they went pretty good. And honestly, the only reason I'm giving myself the 0.15 is because a uh, random guy just walked up to me after my last cleaning jerk said, was just like, bro, that's pretty impressive. And I was like, God damn it. I needed that today. Hey, <laughs> I needed that. Where were you 30 minutes ago? I needed that. I need that motivation. God damn it. But anyway, that got me pumping for a second. <laughs> but other than that, it's just, uh, I've got a friend I'm worried about, you know? I, I've, I've known them for so goddamn long. And, you know, you know, you feel like you know someone so well, like to a T, and you grow up with them, so you feel like you could always, you're always going to be able to know exactly what they're feeling. But especially when you become adults, man, like the closest friends you have may have some personal shit going on that they just are not going to let out and they are not going to express to you and not because they don't want to or whatever. It's just sometimes people don't feel comfortable with it. They don't realize it. They just are doing their own thing and letting the negatives hit them harder than it needs to, you know, and I'm specifically a little bit worried about the way marijuana affects their personality, I guess. Um, they might see this. I don't know. But I have a feeling I'll be talking to them personally before I upload this, regardless. But there's been a few times in the past. It's not, like, more recently, but it ha- it's not often. So I just, I never really thought about it too much. But especially last night, it's just, it was one of those things where, um, they get, like, they'll get upset about, like, one small thing in the day. And then they won't, like, really treat it the way they should. They won't, like give it the attention it needs and it'll just stack on and on and on on top of each other and the moment it gets too much they instantly start smoking and I'm like you know that's fine and all for the sake of anxiety and stress and all that I can understand that but it's I I I literally saw in real time I noticed how they were acting like the normal them that I love while they were high (laughs) which is really bad at least to me I, I don't like it when people seem normal and seem ab more than that. I hate it when people seem abnormal when they aren't on drugs, you know, and I can understand it for people who like, if you have ADHD and you need like Adderall, something like that, cool. But to my knowledge, for the most part, that just makes you more productive without actually making you like different. You know, that's the whole point. It's so it's to maintain a part of your brain that isn't chemically hot wired the way it's supposed to be like with my friend with whatever stresses and anxiety she goes through um and I just it's 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 upsetting and what's more upsetting is when it gets projected onto me and I'm not making this about me in any way like I don't want it to be that way because I just I truly care about them you know and by the way fucking disclaimer I'm sorry (laughs) if you guys are here for a big uplifting video today, it might be a little different, you know, I'm still going to come around, like, I, I, you know me, I don't rant without purpose, so we'll get to the positive parts by the end of this, but I just, I gotta, I haven't really had a chance to express this yet, so I just, I kind of need to get this out with some people that might throw some good perspective or some good support at me, but we, she had, or they had gifted me, um, a ticket to go to this thing with them, and with me at least, and most people that I know, we uh, see gifts as something that you give to someone without expectation. That's why it's a gift. When you put obligation and expectation on how the person's going to use it, it kind of ruins the point of it being something to give to someone else. You know, you still are trying to have control over that thing when you act like that. And I, like out of the four days we were doing this thing, I decided to stop, I decided to not go on the third day to make sure I was ahead of my schoolwork that's due today actually. Uh, Because I wanted to make sure I did good in school. School's my priority compared to a concert, you know? And I I felt condescended and put down for prioritizing what I wanted to do. And they were just like, well, you should have just got it done sooner. And I'm like, well, fucking obviously. But that didn't happen. So now I'm taking in my own time and doing what I can now. Because you can't live in the past. You can't think, well, oh, I should have done this. Like, the, the shoulds don't matter. They don't exist anymore. I just got to do what I can right now with the situation that I put upon myself. Which, by the way, I didn't give a shit at all that I was missing it. It was fine. You know, I was tired anyway. And they made it a big deal that I was like, 
wasting whatever money that someone else had paid for. It wasn't even, they didn't even pay for it. And I'm like, well, dude, if you had ex expressed to me beforehand that you expected me to do this and this and this and this and this, then I probably wouldn't have even gone. You know, when you gift someone or because I was invited, you know, I, I wouldn't invite someone to my big vacation plan and then expect them to fucking latch onto my hip and do everything that I do just because I feel like I'm doing it in a more efficient or better quality way. You know, everybody wants to, everybody's going to do what they want to have the most fun. That's why, that's how you have fun. You stop caring about what other people are doing and what other people expect of you and just do what you want to do. You know, at least that's the way I see it. I'm not trying to be overbearing, but it just, again, as you can tell, I'm still a little upset by it. I haven't gotten to talk about it fully. So this is me kind of getting it out. But regardless of all that, I, I know they care a ton about me and I care a ton about them. Like, I, I am so close with this person that I just want to see, I want our relationship to be a friendship, you know? When you throw obligation and expectation in the mix, I've talked about this so many times, it just makes it work. It, it takes away the love and the passion out of how we treat each other. And I hate that, you know? It, it, it hurts, it not only hurts me, but it, it disappoints me because we've always been fine, you know? So it's always... It's, it's always a, such a left fielder when someone you're so close to throws out something that you've seen in other negative influences in your life. And you're like, oh, damn. You know? But again, you got to remember, no one's perfect. We're all fucking susceptible to this kind of feelings. I'm sure I've done something similar. You know? And so beyond all of the shit and all of me complaining or ranting about this, what matters is being up front. What matters is... It's not worrying about the right and the wrong, not worrying about who to blame and who should be defended. I only care about them in the sense that I want to see them succeed, be positive, and live a healthy life on top of getting to be my friend, you know? And so I don't care if I think, like, it doesn't matter if I think what she did was wrong. It doesn't matter if she thinks what I did was wrong. It doesn't, you know? You just got to talk about it, express it, and come together to make a situation where you both understand how each other feel show that you have that insight and that actual growth from the experience so that it doesn't happen again and that's where that trust comes back you know like it, it feels like a metaphorical knife in the back when this kind of shit happens so I'm like damn like kind of came out of left field I didn't know I did anything wrong in their eyes I didn't realize I was out of line for what they were going through and again people are always going through outside shit like, I, I, I had noticed that she or that they were upset, like, all day. And so, it, it, again, I, I can't assume. You know, this is why I'm expressing to you guys, because now I got a better head about this. I can't assume that it's just me, because it's not about me. That's what I was saying before. There can be a thousand things that are causing them to act the way they are. And at the bare bones of it, I just want to be there to support. You know? That's all I'm... It's just... If they want advice, I'll give it. If not, it's just raw support and positivity from me, you know? But at the same time, I got to be honest and I got to be real about how I'm feeling so that we can truly understand the entire situation and what these experiences and interactions have caused on one another. So, anyway, I appreciate that you guys stuck around. I know this was more of a serious thing, but I just, I, I, sometimes I can't just be that positive guy, you know? Not that I'm fucking, again, by no fucking means am I the goddamn messiah of positivity. I try my best to be as positive as my body will let me, but most days I got something to complain about. I'm just able to rewrap my brain at the end of it so that I can leave feeling up. I can leave feeling positive and I have goals in mind that I want to work on so that I can supersede the seemingly huge, uh, unfortunate coincidences situations you know so i'm just gonna keep doing my best supporting my people the way i love supporting them and either way i'll be back you know that's what the consistency and discipline are for that's what makes me passionate not just the weights but i'm consistent and i'm disciplined to the effort that i put in my relationships you know so no matter what i'm gonna turn around and try to support them as hard as i fucking can because that's what I truly care about. I really don't give a shit who did what or who's wrong in what way. It doesn't matter. Because I love them. And I want them to feel loved and know that it's okay 
no matter what happens. We will be fine. Because the only situation in which you can say that it's not going to be fine is if you're dead. Seriously. Like, I don't mean to be morbid, but it will always be okay. We will always move on. We will always find a way to live better and happier and more positively. Because if you're not, you're not on this planet. That's just how it is. We are a race and a species of overcoming shit, you know? So I'm going to keep doing that. And I'm going to keep loving my people as hard as I can love them. So I am resting tomorrow. You'll have to wait an extra day to see me. But I really, I, I love and appreciate you guys. I, 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 you know, I love any insight, perspective, positivity that you guys can throw out in the world. And, and whether or not my comment section is fucking point zero one percent of anything i still love to see it you know that's it, it's what gets me going and it, it, it's what reminds me that there's always a more positive way to live through these kinds of experiences so i'll be back we will be better and i appreciate whoever wanted to listen i'll see you bye